All right. Open Congress Mamta war that erupts. Rahul Gandhi's car has been vandalized. Congress uh, Neta's slamming Mamta Banerjee government, saying that they're not going to be bothered. They won't be deterred. That there you have it. An image of uh, a Congress vehicle there, window that smashed. Congress failed voters of Malda. This is what Mamta Banerjee has said. India Block clearly having troubles at this point. Rahul Gandhi's car window has been smashed. Congress and Mamta bitter feud now out in the open. Mamta Banerjee attacks the Congress over seat sharing. She says offered two seats. Congress has declined. And Mamta slamming the Congress for alliance with the left as well. And while that uh, banter back and forth between the two parties, here you have Rahul Gandhi's car that's being attacked. His car window has been smashed. Rithik Mondal, our correspondent, joining us live from Bengal. Rithik, Rahul Gandhi's car, is it? Was he seated inside this car? We see that car glass fully smashed. Yes, uh, Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Euro Nia Yatra, the second leg of uh, his uh, uh, Yatra, you know, uh, that uh, enters Bengal through the Harishandapur border. But we are given to understand that the Rahul Gandhi was inside that car and the rear windshield has been broken. And uh, it's kind of a face off between uh, Trinamul Congress and Congress at a time when uh, Mamta Banerjee, is, uh, she is also addressing a, 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 a government program in Malda. And uh, b b while she stated, uh, yes, there was uh, some, con uh, you know, the, the, the face off between Congress and TMC party over the seat sharing issue, Mamta categorically attacked the Congress party. Uh, and oh, she said that the, the her party was ready to uh, give two low MP seats from the Malda district, but Congress did not agree with the proposal given by the Mamata Banerjee uh, for the upcoming Lok Sabha election, and they wanted uh, you know much seats from Bengal, which is why that uh, landed in a scuffle to a scuffle between Congress and uh, Trinamool uh, Congress and uh, Mamata categorically attacked the Congress leaders uh, for maintaining a good relations with the CPM party. The party uh, once uh, targeted and threatened Mamata Banerjee while she was the opposition leader of the uh, of Bengal. So uh, this is what exactly the takeaway of Mamata Banerjee's today's program that they, her party was ready to give two Lok Sabha seats from Malda district. Remember, uh, Malda and Mushidabad, both the districts are considered to be a heavy bastion for the Congress party. And as for the Ali Ranjan Chaudhary, who is the president, president, the member of parliament of Congress is concerned, he comes, he helps from the Bahorampur seats, which comes under the Mushidabad district. And if Mamta says that her party was ready to give uh, two seats uh, from Malda, so possibly the the, the 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 flashpoint between Congress and TMC was uh, over the speech sharing issue uh, here because at Congress leaders is Artikar Nunchaudhary who hails from Mushidabad district, but at a time Mamata said big her big statement coming over the seat sharing uh, uh, you know scenario we are given to understand the Rahul Gandhi the Congress leader who and member of Parliament who enters for the second time during his Bharat Euro Nyaya Yatra in Bengal and he initiated his Yatra uh, through Harish Chandrapur somewhere in Malda and uh, uh, we don't know we don't have any much uh, you know details about how that uh, uh, glasses were broken. Rithik, by Rithik do stay with us. I'm going to quickly cut across to Indrajit, uh, joining us live from the spot. Indrajit, over to you. Rahul Gandhi's vehicle, where he was seated, has been smashed with a stone by some of those protesters there in West Bengal. Uh, it really looks like there's uh, the standoff between the TMC and the Congress is intensified with this kind of uh, attack on Rahul's vehicle there. Well, let me just correct you. The Congress party at this point in time is not alleging who is behind, uh, you know, uh, this incident. But what they are saying, of course, uh, I spoke to Jairam Ramesh and West Bengal Pradesh Congress President uh, Adi Ranjan Chaudhary. Uh, the wind ski, uh, screen of uh, one of the vehicles in Rahul Gandhi's convoy, that was smashed. Now, how that happened, uh, nobody knows. The Congress party itself is saying that it requires an investigation. They don't know how that happened. Rahul Gandhi was not in that vehicle uh, when this incident took place. He later on got into the vehicle and then came forward. This is the place, uh, you know, where uh, they are taking a halt uh, 
This is, of course, the bus, the main bus in which uh, the entire Yatra is taking place. Uh, but nonetheless, it is a huge security breach. I will show you. There is another black car that I can see, uh, uh, and it is surrounded by security personnel. Uh, that is not, of course, the car uh, in which, uh, uh, you know, uh, the windscreen was broken or the, the alleged attack took place. But it was a, a black car similar to the one that's standing there. And what we are being told is that when uh, Rahul Gandhi's cavalcade, the Yatra, was entering uh, Malda from Bihar, uh, from Katihar, uh, it was in Harish Chandrapur that apparently, uh, you know, the uh, rear windscreen got smashed. Now, whether it was due to the crowd, whether there was a, a stone pelting incident that took place, we don't know. But the Congress seems to be on the front foot because they are saying, uh, at least the State Congress President Adi Ranjan Chaudhary is saying that uh, they did the Yatra in Bihar. It was peaceful. No such incident took place. Why is it that just as uh, they entered Bengal, such an incident has taken place? In fact, Congress President Mallikarjun Kharge just a few days back had shot off a letter uh, saying that there should be adequate security uh, provided to Rahul Gandhi during the Nyaya Yatra so that there is no untoward incident that takes place. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, an incident, a, a huge security breach has taken place. Rahul Gandhi uh, has very, very heavy security provided by the CRPF. But this is, in, in fact, a very big security breach in Rahul Gandhi's uh, convoy. It would require investigation. But clearly, without naming uh, the Mamta Banerjee administration here in West Bengal, the Congress party upping the ante, saying that first the venue permissions were not given, and now this incident, uh, and they're saying that there's not enough police presence. I'll try and show you. This is a huge ground uh, that has been used, uh, uh, that has been used by the Congress party as a, a place to halt. And all are across this ground, I will ask my camera person Prasun to show, there is massive crowd that has gathered. Massive crowd that has gathered yeah. across uh, this ground to catch a glimpse of Rahul Gandhi. And the Congress party is alleging that there is not enough security preparation, there is not enough police personnel that has been deployed. And this comes on a day when uh, the district administration in Malda and the police uh, uh, in Malda are also busy with the chief minister's program because Mamta Banerjee is also in the same district. She has multiple programs in Malda today. However, believe it or not, uh, the two India Alliance you know partners, the Congress party and Mamta Banerjee's Trinamool Congress, they are not coming together. Well, this is, this is what uh, the image of the India bloc is as of today. Both the TMC and the Congress not being able to see eye to eye, despite being India alliance partners. Uh, here you have Rahul Gandhi's car that was vandalized in West Bengal, a clear law and order situation in the state.